Welcome to Daily Success, where each day we discuss ideas, insights, and strategies to help you become a better version of yourself and to not only survive but thrive in the modern world. Wake up and do your job. At dawn, when you have trouble getting out of bed, tell yourself, I have to go to work as a human being. What do I have to complain of? If I am going to do what I was born for, the things I was brought into the world to do, or is this what I was created for, to huddle under the blankets and stay warm? But it's nicer here, so you are born to feel nice, instead of doing things and experiencing them. Don't you see the plants, the birds, the ants and spiders and bees going about their individual tasks, putting the world in order as best they can, and you are not willing to do your job as a human being? Why aren't you running to do what your nature demands? You don't love yourself enough or you'd love your nature too and what it demands of you. People who love what they do wear themselves down doing it. They even forget to wash or eat. Do you have less respect for your own nature than the engraver does for engraving, the dancer for the dance, the miser for money or the social climber for status? When they are really possessed by what they do, they rather stop eating and sleeping than give up practicing their arts. Is helping others less valuable to you? Not worth your effort? Marcus Aurelius, Meditations 5.1 Each of us humans is pulled by our lower nature and wants to avoid suffering and struggle and instead feel pleasure and comfort whenever possible. This holds true especially in the early mornings when we find ourselves under the spell of sweet and deep slumber. Marcus was not an exception. In fact, it can be comforting for all of us to know that even someone who was as wise and disciplined as Marcus still needed to remind himself to leave the comfort and coziness of his bed. Even though he was a bit of an insomniac, the Roman emperor encouraged himself to summon up the willpower to throw the blankets off and get up and get going each morning with his daily duties. He constantly reminded himself that like other living beings who went about doing their respective tasks without resistance, putting the world in order to the best of their abilities, he too had to be equally willing to do his job as a human being. The Stoics were big proponents of living in accordance with nature. Every creature on the planet is serving a purpose. The ants are turning and aerating the soil, allowing water and oxygen to reach plant roots. The plants and trees are taking in carbon dioxide and giving us fresh oxygen. The bees are constantly pollinating, helping plants grow, breed and produce food. And we human beings are not exempt from this rule, regardless of our social and economic status. Our nature is to fulfill our duties and responsibilities. To work. We all work in the warehouse of nature, best-selling author and modern stoic Ryan Holiday explains. Every single life form is serving and working, working and serving. It's our duty, not only as human beings, but especially as stoics, to keep this in mind when we feel like sleeping in or not contributing. Every day we must remember to do our part for the world. To fail in that endeavor is to go against nature itself and to take the gift of being human for granted. The Stoics would, of course, disagree with the former and the latter. I hope today's episode added incredible value to you. For more helpful resources on personal development, philosophy and holistic success, come visit my website partsahani.com. I wish you an amazing day.